What's happening YouTube? This is the Mario here and I'm bringing you another recap of the battles I had at Sydney Regionals. Uh, I, this battle is against Lee in round two of Swiss. Uh, Lee's team consisted of Magatronitar, Gastrodon, Togekiss, Excadrill, Tornadus and Greninja. So Lee brought to this match is Togekiss, Gastrodon, Excadrill and Tyranitar. And for my team, I decided to bring Landorus T, Suicune, Amoongus, and Kangaskhan. So without further ado, uh, let's commentate this battle. Okay, so Lee and, uh, leads off with Titar and Exedrill, and I lead off with Landorus Suicune. So this is a uh, sort of favorable lead for me. Uh, I've got both the attackers at minus one. And at first I did think there was potential for this to be uh, a special T-Tar, but at the same time, it was the only Pokemon on his team that I could see in the team preview that was capable of Mega Revolving. Uh, so the Tyranitar just goes ahead uh, and Mega Revolves on the first turn. No reason not to really, so this definitely does confirm that Mega Tyranitar is uh, obviously a stand set, no special Tyranitar or anything like that. Um, both Pokemon just go for a double protect. And yeah, so I was just going for U-turn on the uh, Landorus T, which is Scarfed, and uh, I was just going for Scold on the Ex Exedrill to uh, get some damage off. So Lee withdraws his Mega Tyranitar and sends in his Gastrodon, which ends up being a very, very, very smart play for him. Uh, the Exedrill goes for Rock Slide, and uh, he reveals his Life Orb. So uh, Landorus will flinch, unfortunately, and uh, Skull will give Gastrodon a free plus one attack boost, so that's a very uh, good play for my opponent. So, uh, Suicune just sits there and takes more sand damage. Uh, Excadrill here goes to Rock Slide, but we get a double avoid, which is uh, very, very nice. <laughs> so, it certainly makes up for the flinch. Um, so, yeah, I suppose you could say that, you know, yeah, as I said, it makes up for the um, axe that was against us earlier. Uh, you turn out into a Mungus, uh, and I also learned that the Gastrodon is a Rocky Helmet set. So I go for Snarl here on Suicune, just to get Gastrodon special attack back to normal, uh, just so it's not firing off boosted Ice Beam, Skulls, and Earth Powers and whatnot. So uh, Ga Gastrodon just goes to Scald on the Amoongus. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, well obviously I was Landers T before, so uh, thankfully no burn. And yeah, so at this stage she withdraws uh, Gastrodon because obviously Amongus is a threat to Gastrodon and sends in uh, the Togekiss. So uh, Exodus is going for Rock Slide here. Uh, he is at minus one, I believe. So, and he is taking Life Orb Recoil. Uh, gets me down to my Citrus Berry, which is uh, always helpful. Uh, and I just go for Snarl again. So this puts Togekiss at minus one and this gets a little bit more damage off on Excadrill. So this turn uh, I decide to put uh, Excadrill to sleep and Romulgus and yeah so that won't be getting off any uh, speed boosted uh, <clears throat> rock slides uh, thanks in part to the sand and uh, won't flinch me out but every other Pokemon here on the field will take uh, sand damage. So that will uh, stack up over time, obviously. So uh, Excadrill doesn't uh, get any early wake-ups. Uh, Suicune just goes for Snarl again, which puts Tokis at minus two. And as being a useless crit on Tokis as well. And Tokis reveals here that it has Thunder Wave. And it gets the Thunder Wave on the Amongus. Uh, so Amongus is already slow to begin with, but obviously uh, Parahax is... Uh, thing. If you miss a turn, obviously you're going to be a bit behind. So uh, we just kick it around the extra drill, uh, not enough to knock it out, unfortunately. Uh, but now that uh, Tokyo's has already revealed the Thunder Wave, I don't really want uh, so we can get paralyzed. So I'm going to switch out here into Landorus T, which will further reduce extra drill's attack, uh, which is always a good thing for me. And uh, fortunately enough, on this turn, extra drill uh, wakes up, it goes for Earthquake. Uh, so that, that was a good switch for me, uh, but it is at minus two, so I'll be doing a terrible amount to Amoongus. It is also a spread move, and it will take itself up by full recoil. So, yeah. And uh, as predicted, Tokyo's just has the Thunder Wave here. 
and it was a smart switch for me to make, and Mongus here was for Pokies to sleep. So, yeah. And uh, Pokies will just get leftovers uh, recovery, but at this stage, yeah, it's not going to be doing a terrible um, amount of things. So here, Tyranitar comes back in. Uh, we want, I think Tyranitar, yeah, this goes to protect here. And we uh, go for U turn again onto the T Tar. Uh, but yeah, obviously he's protected, so. And yeah, we doubled into T Tar just to get damage off. Now, I could have gone for Superpower here as well, but uh, I didn't want to reveal it. Although, to be honest with you, the Andra, it's Superpower's common knowledge on the Landra set among a lot of players. Uh, but the one advantage I suppose you have of U-Turn is you can just keep um, U-Turning out and getting those attack drops um, with Intimidate. So that is uh, one thing I particularly like about Lando T. Uh, if there's no Pokemon that on the opponent's side that benefit from Intimidate, uh, you can abuse the uh, stat drops. So uh, U-Turn out into Suicune again. Uh, and Titar here just shows it has Dragon Dance. So, uh, like my first round match where we uh, went up against the Magus Elements that had uh, Dragon Dance, this is getting suddenly a little bit scary. So, uh, Amongus gets Para, para Haxed and uh, Tokius uh, still asleep. And I believe he Sands runs out this turn, if I'm not mistaken. Or. No, okay, so Sand's still up. Uh, Tokius is still asleep. And uh, Mungus, I just go give a Rage Powder. Um, pose, and uh, yeah, T Tar just goes for Rock Slide. I went for Rage Powder because I don't want uh, Tokius paralyzing my uh, Suicune who wakes up. Unfortunately, Rock Slide will knock out my Mungus. Uh, but Suicune does get off Skull here, and thankfully, I don't get flinched by Rock Slide. And yeah, so that will put uh, T Tar at very low health. And uh, yeah, Tokius is just sitting there, not taking uh, any damage due to leftovers. Uh, pretty much restore all the HP it lose in sand anyway. So uh, Landris comes out and it gets Titar back to a normal attack stat, a neutral attack. And uh, Tokius here just goes for a useless follow me. Uh, so what I decided to do here is go for a rock slide. And I still have to beat the Mega Tyranitar because of. Uh, because of course, uh, Landris T has a base speed of 91, and we do get a flinch off on the Tyranitar. So here we just Ice Beam uh, the Poke Kiss, and yeah, it's now at a pretty low range of health by having leftovers. So pretty much from here, yeah, Landris Landris T's Rock Slide should take uh, should take out Tyranitar rather and also takes out Tokius as well, which is excellent. Uh, so, uh, if we had missed uh, that rock slide on Titar, probably, I don't know if we could take another hit on the special um, special slide, but uh, chance side, uh, yeah, we could be knocked out eventually. Sandstorm runs out this turn, and the opponent's last Pokemon is Gastrodon, and yeah, leads forfeits here. So that is the end of my round two match. Uh, I will see you in the next upload uh, for round, round three. And I'm probably going to try and speed up the release of uh, these rounds and these uh, recaps I had in regionals. Uh, I am I do feel I'm getting a little bit better at post-narration. I actually haven't done post-narration for a little while. Uh, usually I've been doing uh, live narration, but I feel that I'm slowly improving at post-narration. But uh, anyway, uh, that's all for today's video. And uh, yeah, stay, uh, stay tuned for more vids in the future, especially from Sydney regionals. So uh, again guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.